Semaglutide was first approved by the FDA in 2017 for people with diabetes. Well, it is now sold as a Zempic for diabetes treatment and as Wegovy for people who want to lose weight. But how young is too young to get a prescription? Wegovy is approved for kids as young as 12. Fox's Richard Giavoas explains not everyone is comfortable writing scripts. The hottest weight loss drug on the market right now, especially among celebrities, is Ozempic. You may have heard of it. Ozempic's primary use is to treat type 2 diabetes or to treat weight loss. But the drug Wagovi does the same thing, essentially. A weight loss drug that slows digestion and mimics a hormone that regulates your appetite. Obesity is a chronic illness. And, uh, you know, people have been very naive for many years saying, oh, just eat less, exercise more, and you'll lose your weight. Dr. Diane Hess is a pediatrician that believes in Wagovi for children 12 years and older, but only if they are medically obese and can't lose weight just by exercising or dieting on their own. There are over 250 genes that actually contribute to obesity in children. So this drug enables children, just like adults, to feel more full, so they actually eat less food. It there is a stigma attached to weight loss drugs and worry over abusing it, say some medical professionals, which is why the child who is taking the drug must meet a specific criteria. That Psychologist Dr. Nava Silton, however, feels like a drug like Wagovi should not be the go-to in kids when it comes to weight loss, especially since it can be a sensitive topic that could psychologically affect a child's mind, especially a child as young as 12. I do think things will become more comfortable. I think we really need to reduce the stigma um, around obesity or around uh, body itself. When it comes to weight loss drugs, the American Academy of Pediatrics says medications like Wagovi, which includes semaglutide, which slows digestion, can benefit kids with severe obesity or have already developed complications related to weight. I want to just ensure that we're always keeping the physical and the mental health and the psychosocial health of the kids in mind, making sure we're not shaming children.